Hi viewers, I welcome you all to Technology Learning Space YouTube channel. This is Mohammad Niyas with you. In this video, you are going to watch about a Send Connector in Exchange 2016. I will cover what is a Send Connector, what are the possible configurations comes in a Send Connector and how to configure a Send Connector in Exchange Server. Exchange use a Send Connector to send email from your Exchange Server to an external recipient SMTP server. So if you want to send an ex external email from your Exchange Server, you need to configure a Send Connector because by default there is no Send Connector exist in an Exchange Server when you set up an Exchange Server. So let us see what are the possible configurations uh, comes in an Exchange Server. You can configure your mailbox server to send email directly from your mailbox server to an external recipient SMTP server or you can configure your exchange server to forward the emails to a third party device like a Cisco Iron Port or Mail Marshall or any other SMTP gateway then it will send your SMTP messages from the to the recipient SMTP server. The other configuration possible is about uh, sending email either through a transport service or through friend and transport service in a mailbox server. By default, SMTP messages are sent through transport service. There is an option in Send Connector that you can configure the SMTP messages to proxy through friend and transport service when it sends email to external recipients. There are two important settings that you need to notice when you configure SN Connector. One is address space. Address space gives you an option to create a send connector for a group of recipient domains to send through that particular send connector. So if you have some domains, uh, recipient domains that need to be sent through uh, from a particular SMTP gateway, then you can create a send connector and in address space you can mention that uh, group of uh, recipient domains. So when you send an email to that domain, the uh, transport service will choose this send connector uh, to send email to that recipient. The other option is uh, scope. By default, when you create a send connector, it is visible to all the exchange servers in an Active Directory forest. You can limit the scope of uh, the send connector to that particular Active Directory site by enabling scope in a send connector. So that's all about a send connector. Now let us see how to configure a send connector in an exchange server. Log into your exchange admin center first. Enter your administrative credentials, select mail flow, then click send connector. Here you see there is no send connector access by default. Click on add button to create a new send connector. Then uh, name your uh, send connector. The first send connector I am going to show you how to create a send connector to send email directly from your mailbox server. Click next then choose ms record associated with recipient domain then click next here you can uh, specify the recipient domains uh, if you want uh, uh, to send a specific group of do recipient domains through this send connector or if this is your uh, send connector for all the recipient domain then you don't need to specify anything so if you just uh, put star here then this is for all domain source server here uh, here i have only one server in case if you have uh, multiple servers you can add all these servers so all the server will use uh, uh, this send connector uh, in the routing decision to send email to a recipient SMTP server so this is how to create a, a send connector for sending email directly the next one is uh, if you want to send uh, email through a SMTP gateway like iron port uh, mail marshal or any other uh, SMTP gateway in this case uh, you can uh, forward these emails to that uh, uh, SMTP gateway and then SMTP gateway will take care of it so let us see how to do that here you can mention root uh, mail through SMTP uh, smart host and enter smart host IP address click next uh, here it offer a different type of authentication I'm just clicking next. none uh, if you have any kind of authentication then you can add the username and password here uh, also the same thing as I explained uh, here I put for all domain 
then source server okay so this is uh, the two type of uh, uh, configuration comes in send connector and one more thing that i have to show you is you can see a proxy through client access server so if you enable this by default uh, this is disabled if you enable this uh, then the email will be proxied from transport service to uh, front end transport service then front end transport service will send the email thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe my youtube channel and visit my blog niasitpro.com